It's funny. What just following source material, respecting fans, listening to the people who created the franchise, in this case, one person. It's amazing what it will do when you do those things. It will literally break records for you. As Netflix has found out with their live action adaptation of One Piece. One Piece breaks Netflix record set by Wednesday and Stranger Things. Hit Pirate series was previously a long-running manga anime. Previously, it still is. It's still going. Thousand-something episodes and chapters. It's insane. But it, it's true. That's one of the reasons why I think this works as a live-action show is because it's, it's more accessible to... Just regular people. I used to think that I, there was no reason to do a live action version of an anime because the anime exists. But after watching this, it kind of gave me a different perspective because now I want to check out the original. Before, I've always been intimidated with One Piece because it's so long. So long. Thousands of chapters, thousand something episode episodes of the series, it's just a lot to dive into. But now I'm kind of curious. I don't think everyone will do that, but I think some people will. I was talking to some people that come on Flashcast, and one of them said, you know, I, I think the, the style of the anime is ugly, and I don't like it. I don't ever think I would get into it. So even if he watches this, like, I don't know if he would go and watch the anime. And then there's just some people that just don't get into anime. Maybe they'll like this version. It's just another way to branch out the show. I used to be against it, but after that, this show changed my mind on it. Because it's like, well, you can do it right. You can do it if you embrace the source material. That's why it kind of looks silly. Because the anime is silly. It embraced it. Everyone acts pretty good. There's great performances. It, it worked. It translated well. And, and that's what happens when you do that. It becomes a hit. It becomes a hit. Now, the, thing, the same thing can't be said for other stuff, like particularly Marvel, who keeps doing the same shit. Marvel's Agatha getting Wonder Woman 1984 comparisons. Who the hell wants this shit? Here's what's going to happen. And, and, I, and I think this is probably going to be the next wave in entertainment. Kind of like the comic book movie genre was a big thing. I think we're now going to get anime movies and TV shows. I think you're going to start to see that become a big, big thing. Anime live action adaptations. And you can think Netflix. Netflix is one piece for it because I think it's a huge hit for them. I mean, it's a, it's a great story and it translated well. Now the problem here is you're going to get a, a ton of garbage ones. You're going to get a lot of studios buying up anime properties now and bringing them to life. And it's not going to work most of the time. What will make it work is if they all do like Oda did and work with the companies and the showrunners and the showrunners need to respect the creator and what the creator says needs to kind of be the king and the trump card on every decision made. Do that, you might get something special here. Uh, Marvel is down. Like this is now the opportune time for them to take everything over because this is really the biggest thing holding up the comic book uh, the comic book world is the movies because no one's reading the mainstream books anymore. Uh, there's probably maybe 200,000 active comic book readers, I think, in the country. Every and with that, I'm going by sales. When we actually got comic book sales numbers, when we actually got comic book sales numbers from Comicron, like the top-selling book, would rarely ever hit 200,000, but
but usually it was over it was always over a hundred thousand something issues and that was always like Spider Man and Batman. And then I think you've got a lot of people that read digitally, stuff like that. So I, I'm gonna say two hundred thousand. I think it's a safe guess. I don't count people on Twitter that just go to wiki and stuff like that. Uh, you, it's fine if you like the characters and you like the shows and stuff, but that doesn't mean you're a comic book fan. I'm talking about people that actively read them still. I think you've got about 200,000 people that do that. It's not a very big number. Can compare that to manga. It's, uh, it's a big difference. So I think you're going to see, you're going to see a lot more One Pieces. It's going to be the next big Hollywood wave. Probably not right away, but within the next probably 10 years, I think you're going to see that shift because they're running, they're running this shit into the ground. I mean, Marvel's Agatha getting Wonder Woman 1984 comparisons. First off, who gives a shit about Agatha? There there was a post showing all these Agatha name changes. They've changed the name so many times. I said, well, they should go with Agatha. Nobody wants this shit. <laughs> that should be the name of the show because nobody wanted that. Out of all the care. Oh, here's Agatha doing the same thing. Like, oh, here's season two of She-Hulk. Apparently that's coming. Nobody wants that either. That's the stuff. They're giving us what they want, not what we want. So I think you're going to see more. Like Netflix, I, they've been buying up a lot of anime. And if they can do it, if they can do it at this level, with this kind of one-to-one translation, fans, uh, fan service, uh, being true, all of that shit, like they might have something here. If they can avoid the cowboy bebops and do more of the one pieces, I think you're gonna see, you're gonna see a big, big push for more live action anime. Absolutely, not so much live action anime, but I mean live action adaptations. So that's where I think the next shift in movies are going. Comic books phasing out, manga phasing in. So anyway, that's it. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think that's going to happen? What are your thoughts? Is this going to kick off that next shift in cultural entertainment? Do you think we're going live action anime now? Give me your thoughts on that. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and my Locals. And I will see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.